Just rumors at this point, it seems that there is a new business line the Kardashian girls are coming out with, guys, and I don't know about you, but it has made me feel very irritated. And I know that you guys will feel irritated as well. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali, back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, it is daily and consistent content, guys. Inject it, consistent and persistent, baby. And let's get into this video, where we have Dieu Moi. Of course, you guys know who they are. They've sent in a, you know, rumor that is going around that it seemed they've been ac accurate sometimes to be honest with you and sometimes they haven't been accurate but here is the scoop we have all seen it on the popular reality tv show that this family has they mention all the time that they all suffer with anxiety now in the next few months you will get a sneak peek at their brand new business that one of the Karjana girls is coming out with hint <sighs> puff puff pass guys so they're coming out with a Kardashian cannabis with a K line is what, you know, is rumored to be believed. And, you know, with them mentioning anxiety 24 seven, which is believable to me because people do, do have anxiety and a lot of people do take cannabis for it. My issue isn't that them taking cannabis for anxiety. My issue is the fact that they're coming out with a cannabis line, a Kardashian cannabis line appropriating to a whole new level where we have so many white people in the US who like to, I see so many viral tweets of white people who are creatives and they've been a successful business model of selling cannabis all over and the Kardashian girls are, no, are gonna be no different to that. But how many black and brown people have been subjected to a disgusting severe prison time and are chucked into prison and left there for just smoking a little bit of weed? How many? Thousands and thousands are left in there for such a crime that people like these girls can run around and, and you know, suddenly just sell cannabis and make it some kind of cute, new, chic deal for them. But, you know, the black, black, the black and brown people are stuck in these prisons, especially in the U.S., it's disgusting, guys. Like, I, I, that's what I, that is my part that's infuriating about, like, I find it so annoying. I can already see Kendall now with a new um, cannabis line in dreads walking down, you know, what, 818 in one hand, you know, um, weed in, 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 in another hand and calling it Kardashian Kush or Kush or whatever the hell they want to call it. And they'll be so successful with it. So successful with it, guys. But if you're caught with a little bit of weed, if you're black and brown, in the, especially in the US, you are done for. You have a prison sentence. You're chucked into prison. And that stuff is real. I'm not exaggerating, guys. There's been plenty of cases that I have seen online and that I know of, and I'm sure you guys have as well, of when they have a little ounce, they're suddenly in, um, in prison, guys. Now, some people are reacting to this and commenting, and some people are, you know, annoyed by it. No, millions are still in jail for effing G of weed, and these already rich as F people are going now to get into this game and make a profit of this. I'm so effing against this. Wow. Um, someone said that um, they aren't the only ones. My ex says 17 years for 17 um, grams, and now there's a dispensary on every corner. Um, maybe we all need Kim's lawyer's work so she can focus on releasing those who are in jail for this and, and not people. Um, someone said, oh my god, I, I can actually see them doing this publicity for their cannabis line and to tap into the younger generation market, the very weed friendly market, especially with Pete in their circle. Always one step ahead, guys. Everything is very calculated. Someone said, yep, it's gross as hell. I live in a state where cannabis is legal. I made sure to look into my company I buy products from after I look at one company that I really like and surprise a bunch of already successful rich white men who owned a winery were the owners and make a concur effort to buy from companies who are using their profits to help those imprisoned for non-violent drug charges or employ individuals who have bogus drug charges in their record. I hope no one buys their shit from them. It's grossly exploitive of them, but I guess it's pretty on brand for them. So people are irritated and this is what I'm saying. You find these cannabis brands owned by white people. They're cool. They're chic. They've got the cap, guys. They've got the sideburns running down. Their breath just stank. And then they obviously have a weed in their hand. And suddenly they're all cool. And they made so much money from cannabis. And they're so, you know, um, victorious. They suddenly put on some flipping hat. And the Indiana Jones child, they've got their backpack on. The door of the Explorer running through, you know, the states making so much money. And then they show, you know, their, their labs of how much cannabis they're about to send out. And this, you got you got Helen, Cindy, Humphrey all of their friends buying their stuff and everybody's happy, 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 happy. But then you have the brown and black mother, uh, I was gonna swear, the brown and black motherfuckers who are left in prison for a small amount of grams of weed chucked into there in a slave system, which is what the prison system is, left there to rot and treated like absolute crap. And then you have stuff like this. It's so exploitive, guys. It really jars and pisses me off. I can't speak for that in the UK because cannabis is completely banned here. But of course, in the US, you see stuff like this and I find it, I hate injustice. It really irks me. And I think they're just on this exploitive to brand for this new oh you know kardashian kush kush cannabis stuff and the fact that pete is in their circle and he's gonna help promote that is actually a very good marketing move objectively that is 
Always one step ahead, guys. Always one step ahead. Um, Kylie's also reportedly expanding her business. TMZ is reporting that she's going to go into eyelashes. It's going to be called Kylie Lash or a Kai Lash or something like that. And she's going into there. She went into the swimwear. She went into, obviously, makeup, lips, confusion. And uh, obviously, you're not going into eyelashes as well. She's not going to be doing much for it, guys. It's just her name on the brand because she is a commodity and her name sells. That's always going to be, it's going to be, yet again, you know, s black and brown workers in these factories, guys, earning far less for making these eyelashes or whatever the hell they're doing in, in different countries as well sending it off and then they'll benefit more that's all that we're going to be seeing here guys Woo! sorry a little a little triggered guys because i just find this stuff annoying like i hate especially when white people want to come up with cannabis lines when you have so many black and white people still to this day that are stuck in prison for small grams and they should all be released effective immediately if humphrey and alice and cindy and kim and kylie and they want to run around and do this cannabis stuff and play with it like you know it, it's a toy for them and they've suffered no form of consequences it's so annoying it's annoying anyways i'm shouting let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this video subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon for another video Woo! triggered